Today's guest is up for every theater prize in town, including a 2014 Tony Award and a Broadway.com Audience Choice Award for her acclaimed performance as pop icon Carol King in Beautiful, the Carol King Musical. Please welcome Jesse Mueller. Welcome back, Jesse. Hey, thanks. You know, this is your second time here. This is the second time. It's the getting last, very fancy. There's plants now. Oh, yeah, we added now, a bush. We added and, a little plant mm -hmm, for mm -hmm. you. Thank um, you. The last time you were just nominated for your first Tony Award two years ago. Mm -hmm. Look at you. I mean, like two years ago, you were that girl who was in the Harry Connick flop, and then thank God they remembered you. You know, mm -hmm. like closed show, and mm -hmm. then the, you got to go to the you the got to go to the prom. You got to go to the prom. The Broadway year, prom. With all the and fancy now, kids. Now. You're like like one of Broadway's like top leading ladies. Do you does that? Do you feel like that no. in any? I don't think you do no. in any way. No. No. I no. Yeah, you're a leading leading actress now. Leading actress in a musical. Mm, leading. And you are uh, in a list of honorees, including let's see, who do we have? Kelly O'Hara, who's like obsessed with you. Right back at her. She's like rooting for you. Oddly. She's so uh, mean. <laughs> Sutton Foster. Sutton Foster. Medina Menzel. Uh -huh. Mary Bridget Davies, who yeah. played Janis Joplin. Yeah. I mean, that's a, that's like a powerful, it's a powerful list group. of ladies, but you it's fit right in group. there. Well, that's sweet of you to say. We had, a cool, we had a cool interview. I had an interview with all of them the other day, and everybody was so... Oh, you did something so, all together? Yeah, everybody was so down to earth, and like, it was so refreshing. Yeah, so I don't refreshing. Know. I'm not seeing enough uh, competitive edge with this yeah. year's nominees. Well, we have thought about staging a few publicity stunts. Kelly and I have spoken about that, but just, you know, we've got some things we could work on. Some yeah. hair pulling and, you know. <laughs> I, want if, I mean, you're in, this, you're in the biz of the publicity. I mean, whatever you think would really get us more. <laughs> how do you get votes? I want the big cat Isn't fight. Isn't that how you get votes? <laughs> like a Real Housewives cat bite. Like just a yeah. big, just a hair pulling Lots of mess. heels and, yeah, and Vaseline. And, but none of you seem to have that. It's just well, like a big gooey group of ladies. It is. Everybody seems to have a great deal of respect for what everybody else does, which is a very cool thing. Have you read any of the things I've read which say that you might win a Tony Award? I do not read anything. You don't? You just you stay Not out even of it. books. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I, I wish I read more. No, no, no. I really, I really don't read anything. I just find that I, the things, good, bad, whatever, they stick with me and then I get weird adjectives in my head and then I feel like I have this expectation of what I'm supposed to do. And what you're really supposed to do is it. this show, beautiful. Right. No, that's Colin, the Carol King musical. Colin slash underneath <laughs> the Carol King musical. You uh, have some amazing wigs. Yes. In this show, as you can see. Yeah, yeah this is none of it's, it's mine. Not real. It's not real. <laughs> um, you are playing this lady named Carol King. She mm -hmm. now first of all, let's get I don't know over. if you've heard of her. I have her heard of her. Okay. She's an icon. She was on yeah. the Grammys. Early on, she said, "I can't go see this show." Right. It's too personal, mm -hmm. and, and then she she actually came to the show. She, she surprised. Was it actually a surprise? Yes. Everybody asks that. Like, did you really not know? I was like, I really did not know. And she watched known, the show. She watched the show. I didn't see. I have to say, I was kind of like, really? It's not that. Like, she really can't watch a story about this marriage. That, and I, I, but I think a huge part of it too was watching a story about herself. Like, if you watch the play and if you know anything about her, and if I'm doing my job. I think it would be very clear to anyone who watches it why she wouldn't want to watch a story about herself because of it's part of who she is. It's, it's also a, a celebration of, of her. Yes, it is a celebration of her. Yeah. And I think when she did come to see it, that's what she walked away feeling. That right. it was, you know what I mean? She was really pleased. She surprised us. Jared Spector, who plays Barry Mann, was doing the Broadway Another Cares. Nominee. That's right. Sorry. Tony, Tony nominee? Jared Spector. Jared very, Spector. Very talented. You have to, he said, contractually, I have to address him that way now. And Nika as well. So it's just, I have Nicola to, Larson, every time Tony I say, nominee. Tony nominee. <laughs> Nika um, That uh, he was doing the Broadway Care speech. And, yeah. and, um, and he's doing a bang up job, man. They had told us that that's why there were cameras there, because they were video cameras. Oh, okay. For I totally fell for it. Anyway, um, <laughs> and. So he gets about halfway through, and all of a sudden these gasps are coming from the audience, and I'm like, wow, he is like really moving people. Like, we are going to make some money tonight. <laughs> and then all these gasps from the crowd, and then Jared Spector doubles over, and I see Carol walking on from stage right with a microphone in her beautiful, like, little sparkly, like, sweater jacket. And then we all, I mean, I lost it. I, yeah. I kind of, and then tried to pull myself back together. And my first thought was, oh, my gosh, she's here. And then it was... Oh, well, she's here because she just watched it. Was it a good show for you? Did you I nail think it? So, Do you I, nail it every night? Or no. Is there, there, um, <laughs> I never feel like show? I nail anything every night. I feel like sometimes, every once in a while, I feel like, oh, that was a really good moment of that one moment. But 
No, that's what my brain did. I went back and I thought. You were like thinking about the whole performance. Oh man, I was at one scene. And like, how did I sound on that note? And is that a good choice? Should I have done that lick or whatever? Now, I watched this video footage you're talking about. And mm -hmm. actually, the, there's footage after you, you left the stage of you guys like backstage. Uh -huh. And Carol King is whispering to you. And I, and I tried really, and all I heard was, I know you can't hear a thing. What is she saying? To I you? can't even remember every word she said, it. but it, I, it was. Um, Did she say that one note? You know that really? <laughs> no, that was that really cool. No, she didn't really give me any specific. <laughs> like, you're doing great, but this one part. No, it was kind of. It was kind of along the lines of. Um, she's like you. You're doing it. You're you're. You're, okay. you're being me, or you're being what people tell me I am. Yeah, I don't know. I, I just got the sense that she was like she was comfortable with it, not just relief, but like sh she was, yeah. she was really okay with it, and that's what I wanted to know. So you did you you didn't actually like get to like go out on the town with her? We did go bowling. You went bowling afterward. With I'm kidding. That would have been amazing. <laughs> what <laughs> we, what am I that great of a whole story? Yeah, yeah, we had wine and <laughs> no, no, we didn't. So it's interesting. Like I didn't know <laughs> that the show fun. would be the hit that it's become. And they never stood. I know, mean, we knew. It we was kind of like an material. underdog show when it started. Uh -huh. I, mean, you know, I mean, it was sort of a, a Mark Bruni's first mm -hmm. Broadway musical directing, right? Uh, a new yeah. book writer. And jukebox musicals have a whole stigma to them. Yeah. Um, so it was sort of like not a slam dunk show. And then it's had like these million dollar weeks. And what's it been like watching the show become what it is? It's been wild because, I mean, we all sat around... And some people that are in the show now have been involved with it for a couple of years right. with early readings and stuff. I was one of the last people to come on to mm -hmm. the team. But yeah, I mean, sitting around the table for the first time, reading the script or reading the versions that I read for auditions and stuff, like, it's just gotten better and better. Mm -hmm. And that was because everybody, I was, I was really um, heartened by that, that during the process. There, there were very rarely were there ever times where it was like, it's fine. Mm. Mm -hmm. it, that didn't ever suffice. Just keep making it better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like we know it's, it's okay. Like we really think it could be this, or it's mm. you know, because we also had these real wonderful and brilliant people that we were portraying. These four brilliant people, and you know what I mean. There's something to compare it to. They're right out there, right. still working, and um, so we could be like, uh, it could be better. It could be more like this. It could be, you know. When you immerse yourself in Carol's story, and I know you read mm -hmm. her book, mm -hmm. I mean, her book is yeah, yeah. a lot of fun. Yeah. Was there anything about her like rock star life? I love picturing Are you, you saying living I'm not... that kind of life. Well, don't you think she was sort of an atypical rock star? I mean, she wasn't exactly like your typical sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Right, but right. You mean like is but there anything? But she had drugs and sex and rock and roll around her. How much Absolutely. How, tell me about the dr sex, drugs, and rock and roll in, my your, life? in your life. In well, your if I told you all my Broadway secrets, life. you know... Um, then where would, you know, we don't have time What's the, in this interview really to cover it. <laughs> What's the craziest thing about your, ever done. your life? What would be the thing when they make the musical of your story, which I'm sure will happen at some point, and you won't go to the opening and then you'll just and surprise the cast one night? Because it'll be really boring. <laughs> what would be, no. What would Maybe be, something, isn't that terrible to think that, no, but it's like what? something really tragic needs to happen to like have my life We need be some scandal. To, yeah, we need to like sex you up a little bit. Yeah, probably. <laughs> It, that's what I'm saying. Like, we could stage a fight with someone. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. Let's do on? that. Let's do that. Maybe, like, uh, uh, I think you and Sutton Boster should, like, stage something. We could, yeah. I could see that. I could totally see I that. I could take her. You're not on Twitter. Mm -mm. I love that you're kind of like, uh, what is, what's your deal? I don't, it's not good for me. It's not good for you to, what, to have like that a That kind of platform? stuff is not good for me. Uh, well, you would stage fights with I Sutton don't Boster. really feel like. Well, no, because here's the thing. I have thought about it. And I'm like, well, what if I could use it for good and I could say inspiring things and maybe someone would listen? But my thing is that I don't think I have enough <laughs> self-control to, like, not compare myself to others on it. To see it, like, I'm not on Facebook anymore. It was that kind of thing. It was like, oh, my God, she looks so happy on her vacation with her boyfriend. And why isn't my life like that? And why? Like, that's what I did. And I was like, I don't need to do that. Right. I don't need to compare my life to everybody else's. I do that enough on my own. I don't need, to, I don't need something else on my phone to mm -hmm. check and keep me more like this with okay. my device. And that's right. sort of where it comes from. Right. Okay. Like a constant. But it can be used for great things yeah. and really fun things. And I know it's a really good business tool. So somebody will probably make me do it someday. But yeah, right now, I, I wonder I just, at what point though. This seems like a good point. Like the right whole now. selfie thing, and that just seems so. You know, into selfies. Yeah. No. <laughs> really? Yeah, I mean, I'll do it, but I always feel like such a douche after I do it. 
it's like, oh, the angle wasn't good. I should do, you know, you just like do it down and stuff so your face like looks long and like you have I cheekbones. Just, <laughs> I just wonder how someone like you becomes an actress. I know like you kind of had to because of your family. It was like a rule, right? Everyone it's in your because family. Because I'm a character on stage. I don't have to have people okay. looking at me like me. That's, so that's I the whole thing, you're, hi you're hiding behind it. I'm hiding behind everything. So is it is it horribly uncomfortable to do an interview do like an this? Interview? Do you hate things like this? Like this? Do you hate it? Are you nervous? I like it. <laughs> no, you make me feel comfortable. The chairs are really comfortable. They're, they're all right. No, I'm not, I, and I'm not just saying this. It, this part of it is not the most comfortable part for me. Right. I mean, okay. I, I like talking to people, and if I'm talking about a, a part, that it, like it's uh -huh. easy for me to talk about this show because I'm very, very proud of it. Right. And I admire, admire Carol King so much, for it, so right. it's easy for me to talk about her. But yeah, I, I don't, you know. Let's it's fun to dress up and stuff, but it, it, it's just like, I feel it's a lot of pressure. Uh huh. I want to talk about <clears throat> um, your amazing career because since you were last year, you, you work pretty much nonstop. I mean, you've had a great. Oh, that's Knock steel. on metal. <laughs> you've, you've been here. I you, thought that was wood. Two years ago, you sat here when you got your first Tony nomination. Then you did Into the Woods. Mm -hmm. Then you did Mystery of Edwin Drood, mm -hmm. which was a big success for you. Oh, and, yeah. I love and Andy Carr was in that. You, you and Andy. What was Me your character? You were like. We were brother and sister. Right. And slightly the, racist playing sli Indian people. <laughs> slightly. Can't believe still that we got away with that. It was the Victorian era, so. Yeah. We just. Put it under was that, that fun? It was, it was nuts. One of the best times I've ever had on stage was yeah. rude. I was just thinking about all. I found some stuff in my apartment the other day, like little keepsakes and notes I got from people, like Bob Creighton and Stephanie. Uh -huh. And I, I can't believe we got paid for that. Yeah. The yeah. stuff that we got away with doing on stage. Right, like you made out with Betsy Wolf. I made out with Betsy Wolf. Right. That's I, online. I mean, you know, dreams of mine that have come true. <laughs> <laughs> Andy Carl's Rocky. Is that crazy? Andy Carl is Rocky. And, and you actually auditioned to be it. Adrian. Mm -hmm. I did. Against him? So, like, well, you, did I auditioned you aud to be Rocky, and then they said that <laughs> they wanted him. It's a long story. So I said, fine, at least let me read for Adrian. And they were like, okay. But I think by that point, I was... Did you read opposite him? You did, yeah, right? Yeah, I did get to read opposite him. Was it weird to like the, the, like explore that dynamic after all that nuttiness in <laughs> kind of. Edwin Drew? We read the scene once together beforehand, and I was kind of like, I'm just Jesse, just don't laugh, don't laugh, don't laugh. He's like, you can't laugh. I was like, I know, I'm not going to laugh. I'm not going to laugh if you have to kiss me. I swear I'm not going to laugh. <laughs> have you seen Rocky? You're not able oh, to... yeah. Oh, no, you did I saw see an it. early preview. Oh, okay. I, I felt like his sister watching it. Yeah? I was so proud of him, and I really have no right to be proud of him. I mean, he's a friend, but yeah. I, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I always said that when I, you know, see people I know, but you right. know, I don't have ownership of them right. or anything. But now he's Rocky. Now he's Rocky, you know, but uh, <laughs> he was so freaking good. He was so good. Yeah. He is so good, and I saw an early preview, so I'm sure it's only gotten better. Uh, my boyfriend sent me the clip of him on the Letterman show the other night, and I was like, you better work. Good RuPaul Keep reference. Thank standing. you for that. Do, do you watch Drag Race? I know, actually. D you don't? Didn't you used to have another show on VH1? Like, yeah. Yeah, did you watch that? that? I saw. Did that, was that when you were an impressionable young girl in Chicago? Did yes. you watch the RuPaul yes, talk I show? Yes, I did, and look how it has shaped me. <laughs> um, I used the references So then you did, then. wait, then Sarah Jessica Parker, apparently. Yeah, where did that story come <laughs> because from? Because Matthew Broderick sat on this chair and said and it. And he said that? That Sarah Jessica Parker saw you in That's Edwin true. Drood and thought, that you should be a nice work if you can get it, opposite her husband, Matthew wow. Roderick. That was that's really pretty, nice of her. That's pretty cool, right? I, still, I never Did gave her the 10%. That, and I love that she's casting people, that she's just like, I love that power. She's that's very well-rounded. I picture, I just, I love picturing her like, you know, going home to the West Village that night and being like, and like, then just like, like chit-chatting over the count. Look at this like, playbill, this girl, this girl might be a good pleasure for Kelly O'Hara. Isn't that it's wild? amazing. And you were, by the way, incredible in Nice Work, if you can get it. Oh, thank you. I went to see it. I love doing that show. Oh, my God. That was, like, right up your alley, right? I oh, mean, that was, yeah. Like, broad, I love stuff like musical, that. Musical, comedy, like, yeah. you were hilarious. Like being in an old movie musical. Right. Oh, my gosh. I kind of don't remember the first night I went on. Really? I had a little under two weeks of rehearsal, I think. And I was so, I was so nervous. I'd never done anything like that before. You nailed it. And like sliding down banisters and stuff. And that was always my hope. I was like, please just don't fall down the banister. Just don't fall down the banister. Have you heard of the Tumblr F, uh, F yeah, Mueller's? I have heard of this. <laughs> There's a new Tumblr. New Tumblr in town. Who you makes are, this? You, you <laughs> Someone accused me Fans. once of making it. Someone in church was like, so yeah, F yeah, Mueller's. I was like, please don't swear in church. <laughs> 
And no, I didn't make that. Somebody in church pointed it Someone out to you? Someone in church, yeah. Wow. And like said it's, the full title. What? <laughs> I was like, is that okay? Your, uh, I guess your you're family your continues to be active, and and, and now like the siblings mm -hmm. are are taking, they're coming, in, they're they're seeping in. Oh yeah, well my the sister Mueller, Abby was brave and in, came here first, and she's in kinky, kinky boots, boots now. She's swinging right. over there. Right. And my yeah, my younger brother Andrew, Andrew was here for Peter and the Peter Star Catcher for like right. a year and a half. Right. And then my older brother Matt is right. also an actor, and he's down at Oslo Rep right now doing a new musical. That's uh, and your dad amazing, and my dad is acting in Chicago. He's about to go into rehearsal for something. I'm trying to remember what it is, and my mom is an actress too, and she does a lot of right. voiceover. And yeah, there, do you, would you guys make a good like reality show? No. Why? Because you're just good Midwestern people. Yeah, I don't think there there's would not be enough like. I don't think there's enough like hair pulling and. If you were a reality show, which of the siblings would be like the, the most, most trouble? Amusing to watch on camera. Andrew's very smart and he's very dry. Uh huh. Okay. So, so he might have like some good like one liners. Commenting. Yeah. Uh huh. Right. Yeah. Or like if there was a confession booth. Right. Okay. Yeah. That he, would be good. He would go in the confession booth and he'd break it down. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. I think so. But you guys are all. My mom would be like baking all the time. Yeah. Okay. Like that's about what would have be like. I made muffins. Okay. That's sort of like a Chicago thing. Like if you if someone gives you free tickets to go see a show, like you have to bring a treat. You have to bring that's a, sort of a like tradition. A baked good. A baked good. And really, if you don't bake it, it's not as good. So okay. my mom would always. She would always. She's you know kind who does of known. That? Laura Osnes does that. Of course she does. Because <laughs> she's sweetness wrapped in tinfoil, like a baked good. Yeah, she literally came here with baked she? goods for an interview. I thought about getting you something, but I, I didn't. I thought you were. Anything. Yeah, I thought you were. I thought. I should have brought you show, spirit. show I guess sweat you've changed, or something. Jesse Where's Mueller? Laura from? It's from there. Midwestness. Yeah, out there. <laughs> out there. <laughs> And yeah. your boyfriend is now, is he on the road still? He's on the road still. Is I just saw him in, yesterday in for War a little Horse? bit, but he's in War Horse, yeah. Is that terrible? I mean, what, how is that for you guys? I mean, you're really busy, obviously. He's so far away. Are you like, do you FaceTime? And... We FaceTime a okay, lot. That's, okay. um, and he, he's been great because he comes back a lot because his day off is Monday, but it's, oh. his tra it's their travel day. Okay. And my day off is Monday, so I could go like meet him at an airport, but that's about... All that would wow. entail. So sometimes he routes himself through New York to get to the next stop, especially okay. if he doesn't have to doesn't have a show until like Tuesday night or Wednesday. Right. But yeah, we're so we're learning. How long has this been going on for like like this? Uh, May, <laughs> June, July, August. We're like nine months. Wow. In wow. To a year of the of the long distance. Well, we li did long distance for a while when I first came here. We've okay. been together for four and a half years. So. Right. So. Uh, you're going to be on TV on the Tony Awards. Have you figured out your the the look, the fashion? No. Because you don't. You know, I don't. I don't do you think have an idea? Do I have a fashion idea? Yeah. Uh, I would love the wig. I would love some sort of. I wish. Maybe, maybe Can I get like away with that? Can white girls get away with wearing wigs? Classic Carol King look. <laughs> like a classic. I kind of thought about it. Really? Just I would, there would be some serious. King? No, some serious extensions involved. But wouldn't it be cool if I could have like some wild. Hippie hair and... It'd be kind of ridiculous. Okay. I would love it, but it'd be kind of ridiculous. Okay, we won't do it then. Are you going to uh, write a speech? What have, was... I just saw have something... Have you been working on it for years or... I want to say it was something you guys had on your website or something. It was like tips from from past Tony nominees. Oh, and yeah. Billy Porter was like, do not... Don't pretend like... He was like, write a damn speech. Yeah. He was like, be prepared. Yeah. Billy Porter, if he's going to... Yeah. And he knows. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He know. Well, he definitely knows. I think it would it would be bad for him to not be prepared. Yes. I certainly don't expect anything. Yes. But, you know, should something arise which involves, you know, getting up in front of people, then I would feel terrible if I forgot to thank somebody. You know what right. I mean? Right. Do you like stuff it in your bra or something? Do yeah, you like you write like and roll it? Or in your it? wig. Or like in yeah, a poison up ring? Up in the wig. Up in the wig. <laughs> Just stick it up in the wig. Is there anything else you're dying to say to the people about Tony um, Award, your great fortune, your dreams? <laughs> My great fortune. Beautiful. My you got to go see Beautiful it's at the nice. Stephen. So it's not a Stephen Sondheim show, but it's at the Stephen Sondheim it's Theater. It's at the Stephen Sondheim. The thing, It's on Forty Third. Stephen Sondheim been there? I don't think so. He Is might. he required to come see everything in his theater? He he, he has to. Is that what happens when they name a theater after you? He has to the cast in the middle of a curtain call speech. He might wander on stage. And then come sing No One Is Alone or something. <laughs> and raise you hang out with him at all during Into the Woods? A lot. We no. I did get to I did get to meet him though. I did get to meet him a couple times. He might come out on stage and just give you some Carol King notes. Why not? Why not? It's his theater. He can do whatever he, he wants. He can do whatever he wants. He's Dean well, Sondheim. 
Exactly. <laughs> Everyone, uh, check out Beautiful, colon, the Carol King musical. Is or is it, really it a dash? A colon? Is it a dash? Do you call it that whenever you refer to it? Beautiful, the Carol King musical? Beautiful, the Carol King musical at the scene. Stop at Stephen Sondheim. I can't say that. <laughs> well, uh, check her out. She's amazing in wigs and playing piano. Right? We didn't even talk about that. We didn't talk about that. Uh, it's, but, but it's good. It's good. <laughs> Tony nominated. And it's then theater you're magic. Be on, it's mostly Jason Howard. You're the best, but... best piano playing I've ever seen on Broadway. Watch her June 8th on the Tony Awards, the Big Fancy Tony Awards, with that Big Fancy Looking category. Fancy. You're going to take those girls down on the red carpet. That's right. <laughs> Get those claws out. June 8th on CBS starting at 8 p.m. And uh, I can't wait to see your outfit. Thank you. Thank I, you. I'll, I'll, we'll try to cook something Don't up disappoint. good for you. Okay. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye.